Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Governor of the state of New Hampshire should apologize for his attack on Martin Luther King Day on the town of Hampton, New Hampshire. Some have called it chicanery, a cheap shot, a backstab, or media blitz. He attempted to impugn the legitimacy of local government. He insulted the citizens of the town of Hampton, New Hampshire. He attempted to make a mockery of the statutory authority of the Board of Selectmen. And he attempted to act as a selectman, a judge, and a jury. The morning of the so-called meeting, Max Sullivan called me and queried whether I had a position that Mr. Waddell, who voted against the tort, was rightfully engaged to speak with the governor. And I informed Max that I had no comment and I wished not to politicize the governor's presence in town. That same morning, I called the governor's office and I spoke with Elliot, wishing to thank the governor for his appearance in Hampton and further to inform him that I would be performing duties as a state rep and as a selectman about the most important matter in the seacoast of New Hampshire, if not New Hampshire, which is the seacoast cancer cluster, the deaths of children, and our water supply, where I was in attendance at the Portsmouth City Council. The governor was aware of this. The governor came down to this meeting, and he put on a dog and pony and falsely asked for my name when he knew that I was in attendance at the Portsmouth City Council doing the citizens' work on Martin Luther King Day. I would say to the governor as a rep, I would say to the governor as a citizen, I would say to the governor as a selectman that we are not intimidated by his abusive power or any political dynasty in the town of Hampton. I've had the same discussions with the majority leader for the New Hampshire House, the GOP chair, myriad legislators. Tomorrow I will meet and have this exact same conversation with the Speaker of the House, Chandler. There are many Americans and many, many Hamptonians that have served their country in far greater peril, in far greater hardship than any political dynasty or Governor Sununu's family. I want to speak about Captain Falcone, that felt the Falcone Circle in this town is named after. He's a Hampton native, he was a Marine, he was commissioned in the Army, and he was eviscerated on a ridge line in Vietnam in 1964. His granddaughter is Mrs. Robbie Bean. His grand great grandchildren are Vera and Bo Bean. They live in former Senator Preston's home on Winnicunit Road, State Senator Bob Preston. I would speak as a former Marine officer, I would speak for Bo and Vera and Kayla. And as reported in the Hampton Union, the next time Governor Sununu comes to this state, nobody in this town wants to hear him whining about his government service and that he's not getting home for dinner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.